the thing about the KKK is that you walk up to somebody that like is a proud KKK member and you're like, hey, do you hate black people? They'll be like, yep. And I was like, all right, bet. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That is very easy to be like, this person is clear in their release. They're not trying to mess with us. Okay, at least I know the KKK does not like me. But <laughs> when you have someone who is trying their hardest to claim that they are not racist, but they're supporting all these factions and systems that reinforce racism they're a lot harder to weed out than someone that is just blatantly racist like i will take yep. someone who's just like fuck black people all day over someone who's like no all lives matter like i don't understand what you're saying because that person is infinitely more harmful than the person who's just like upfront about it because at least i know they're upfront about it i know who to look out for you know yep no absolutely we Absolutely. got more donos too. Got Krev Nasty donated twenty dollars. Black trans lives matter. That yeah. is a fact, not an opinion. Once again, that is a fact and not an opinion. That is objective. If you're gonna talk about lives, you must talk about life. Life includes all kinds of people, whether you identify heteronormatively, or if you die anywhere else, identify anywhere else among the spectrum, or if you are a trans person or whatever you fall under and you express yourself as is as valuable as anyone else's yeah a black trans woman started pride that is facts throw that brick throw that yep. brick absolutely yeah but yeah i, I just want to like just add on to what you're saying too like it is a thing where it is oh, more often than not the most dangerous thing to these movements isn't just the blatant racist those are easy to catch out and guess what in terms of people who just raw just want the world to burn and just straight up hate people thank goodness they often are this infinite minority the problem is you have this spectrum and you have this middle angle where people just either it is something that is a quote unquote inconvenience to them it's something that they don't want to hear about. It's something that it's like, ah, you know, it's not that bad. Just, you know, just figure it out. You know, it's not a big deal. Those people are the problem and those people are what cut down our numbers. So that's why it's important for us to look at it and, and work together. And for people who are in that kind of circumstance to be open, taking the information, right? And you look and just entertain the idea that maybe you could be wrong. Maybe there's more there. Do your due diligence. Seek out truth in all aspects. Like, this is what we need to do as people so we can unify and be better and build a better world. And also, another thing, too, is, like, there's going to be people out there that are just going to be blatantly like, oh, KKK all day, we're all about this stuff, and they're just running around their lives just freaking just, like, I'm going to wear a bed sheet. But guess what? White supremacists have gotten a lot smarter than that. And they've infiltrated a lot of these spaces in that. And like I said before, like FBI has like documentation on it. They're singing on this. We're not just fighting against these stupid people. And it's this idea of like, oh, you know, it's just dumb, crazy lunatics who are doing this. Like, no, dude, there's a whole lot more. And there's people are being tactical about the way they do these things. And they are abusing the inactions of moderates. They're using, they're abusing the negligence of people who feel this doesn't have anything to do with them. But it has nothing to do with humanity as a whole. They are abusing that to go about it and win their war on this and win their hate war. And so we have to be aware of that. And if you sit there and you are more likely to sit back and be like, ah, well, you know, well, George Floyd, he wasn't like, you know, 100% perfect either, it, then you are part of the problem. And if you think the only way, the only way for you to justify yourself is compare yourself to someone who wears a sheet and lynches people and that's the only way you don't perceive yourself as racist there's a problem if that's yeah. the only way you can justify well dude i'm not like i'm not i'm not hanging someone in a tree so like i'm not racist like if that's how you that, that's how you are able to to showcase <laughs> you're not racist like <laughs> that's terrible 
That is like, terrible. <laughs> Damn, bro, I didn't tell absolutely. him to go shuck and jive, so yeah, <laughs> I'm like, all good, right? Yeah, so I'm good, right? Like, I didn't shoot the guy in the face, so I must be good, right? Like, no, there's a spectrum, and there's so many things that we can all work on, you know, and it, we have to try our best. We have to be better. We have to open ourselves up, talk to people, learn from different perspectives of the world. It grows us, and life is so much better <laughs> in that way, right? when we're able to learn from others in different ways and things and when we're able to have that kind of equality we grow as humanity all right and that's what we need to be looking at and we got to be honest with ourselves man yeah it's going to be inconvenient you know but stretching is you know stretching to be a little bit of pain but there's a whole lot of gain that comes after so make sure you understand that you keep fighting keep pushing keep pursuing you know, keep pushing in yourselves to learn more and educate yourselves more in all aspects of these things, right? Take time to listen to your friends and family, some people that may have dealt with these things that you may never know. Open yourself up. Open up yourself to that kind of dialogue. You know, even follow someone who's an activist. Like, follow someone who's a black activist and figure out what's going on. You know, so follow someone who is who is, who is trans and see what's going on, what they go through in their lives, right? You know? Take, go go ahead and do these things so you can learn about society at large, learn other perspectives that you may not know before, and you will become a greater person for it. Okay? You will become a greater person for it. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. Fact. Okay? Fact. You gotta open yourself up, all right? And you gotta, you gotta come to conclusion that maybe the world that you see is not the entirety of the world in itself. Maybe the little bubble that you see, maybe there's more out there. Maybe there's information missing. And maybe if you knew that information, maybe your your thought process would change. Maybe it won't change, but at least you know that you're taking in the information that's out there. That's the first step. Don't close yourself off. Don't sit there in the echo chamber. Be better, learn, and grow. Like This is imperative, not just in loving others, but imperative in your own self-growth. So do it for the people out there that you care about, and also do it for yourself. Yeah, so some of you were saying that uh, someone at right uh, kind of said that thing earlier about like George Floyd. I, I think I saw it on Twitter actually, like maybe like a day or two ago. Where it was like, oh man, like if he hadn't already like been arrested twice and part of violent crime and yada yada. And I'm like, yeah, okay, like why does that matter again? Like whether like if I've like been arrested twenty times, that does not give you the excuse to put. Oh wait, wait, hold up. Uh, <laughs> Genesis says I'm black and privilege is a. Uh... What is this? 100 million? 100 million percent fake. Yes. Based on what data? <laughs> yeah, that's... That is, a uh, False. Please but, give me data for that. Uh, I mean, you can sip that Kool-Aid if you want. Like, that's all you, bro. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're cooked, but... Keep sipping no, it. <laughs> I, I would just love to see it. Please show me that. And then if you can show me that, then we can start having a discussion. Until then, uh, there's no need for a discussion. Please. That doesn't make any sense. And the fact that you justified it by saying I'm black, therefore, like, no, dude. <laughs> like, even these things, right? It's like, it's because we have data and information out there. It's not, oh, well, just because, like, oh, well, hey, guess what? This happened to me, so therefore this. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, well, yeah easy, easy money. GG, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm white and privilege is real. Well, see ya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good, Good luck. <laughs> Good freaking looks. <laughs> What's up? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> yeah. Real conversations <laughs> are happening, indeed. Oh man. <laughs> Schrodinger's douchebag. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I made a tweet about how my white privilege is real. I'm just glad nothing happened to my homie. That's real. The, for the first, the first step about being an ally that is not a person of color, they're just recognizing that you have privilege. Like, like being able to check yourself. Very simple thing, for example. And y like, if you're a white person, you probably don't even think about this because you're a white person. But in these Corona COVID-19 times, we are all required to wear a face mask, right? Mm -hmm. Cool, simple, simple enough, right? Everybody wear a face mask, nothing wrong with that. Now, myself, 
as a black person, I'm like, all right, well, I have to get myself like a flu mask, like one that is like very easily identifiable as a flu mask. Because if I go outside with a bandana, which is something that I have readily handed you, as opposed to like a flu mask, which is something I have to order online, people are going to think I'm like some sort of gangbanger and find a reason to shoot me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's very yep. simple shit like that. That is like, yep. I have to think about that and you do not. Yes. That is and, Mis and, and Misfits, by the way, yes, he just dared five times in a row. In fact, he 100% dared five times in a row. Like, <laughs> I don't know what Luis is doing. He, he actually wild. Um, but, you know, that was actually wild. But, oh, I, I, I want to say, because we just had some donations rolling right now, too. We had Yaya, rest in peace. Alua Toyin, Thalu, you deserve a better world than this. Absolutely. Great activist. Such, such a, such a, such a sad situation. Her, I know. Her Especially her family. Around. You hear about that? Yeah. I didn't hear what happened to her family, but yeah, she's Nigerian too. She might be from my tribe, actually. A Lua Toyin. My, I have a cousin named Lua Toyin. Because apparently she was, um, what do you call it? She was like basically like exiled by her family, essentially. Like they were of no use. They kind of the reason she was on the streets to begin with was because her family was just a bunch of shitbags. Um, and now. They started like throwing GoFundMe's to try to rack up on their dead daughter's death. What is that? <sighs> what is that? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, Genesis is a charity stream. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You know, we're having real conversation. Um, what does it also say? Um, I'm, I'm assuming that's West Coast, maybe, or Dub Sidello donated five. Tired of people avoiding education on discrimination against black lives, but are content to believe racist lies spread on the internet. Keep it up with the real talk. Black lives matter. Yo, absolutely. And then Zoop donated again. Zoop is going in, man. 44.55. Not the full quote, but shallow understanding from people of goodwill is more frustrating than absolute misunderstanding from people of ill will lukewarm acceptance it's much more bewildering than outright rejection and Ax. yes 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 this is huge and this is the big thing too like if we're able to actually make true change it's not usually coming from the the people who just straight up are just hating like they just, they just like we're socialized to hate and they're just going to continue to hate all our lives and they're going to sit there there's going to be certain people that are so far gone but it really comes down when you have people who have willing access to look at the information can do so they're not sitting here in this echo chamber and yet they still refuse to look at this information and understand this is a serious issue and understand that we need to do something about it that that is the problem right yeah and it's like i hate like i, I like this comment here black lives matter shouldn't even be a political issue right because it's not like what's political about that yeah. It was like, hey, yo, yeah, we exist, and we kind of want you guys to like stop screwing us over. <laughs> oh, bet that's way too political, bro. I don't want to see that on yep. my feed. Like, like what is that? Yeah, and you have so absolutely. many people that distract from the movement too, right? Like, yep. I've seen videos of like freaking Instagram influencers going out mm -hmm. during the middle of protests to take their picture to be trending. Look at me, I'm an activist. Haha, -ha, this will get me the likes and impressions to feed me the dopamine yep. mush that I need, as opposed to actually caring about the situation. Or alternatively. Is what that is. <laughs> Someone is like, oh yeah, because this goes with what you were talking about earlier, where it was like, oh okay, like slavery is bad. Oh, black people did it. Yeah, that's bad too, right? There's like a, you know, like oh, a white woman uh, burned down the Wendy's, bro. Like it's not even black people. But then, yep. like the point is like, we don't actually like care. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? It's like, all right, like damn, that Wendy's is gone, bro. But the reason she burned down this. Wendy's is because she is tired of the injustice of black people and that's what we're here to discuss today folks nobody gives a shit about the Wendy's Wendy's got more than enough money to bring that back now, I'm not yeah. telling y'all to go out and like destroy property I'm not saying that but I'm trying to say the the message is bigger than the single action that you're comparing it to oh absolutely absolutely and it's like it's a thing where we need to stand strong for this man we can't just sit there and and people going there just trying to make a profit off it, and it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I also want to shout out Udon Ian, and uh, this actually is really close to home for me. Um, but he like, donated $93, and he said, The model minority myth made me passively racist growing up. Took years to learn how to change those views, Asians for black lives. 
And this means a lot to me because oh, I grew up in a predominantly uh, Korean neighborhood. Um, and there I dealt with a lot of racism coming from a lot of people who were in terms of where I live, right? But also at the same time, I found grace and beauty from uh, a lot of my close friends that I've known. Uh, like, there's like 20 of us, and then we have their brother, younger brothers, sisters, and friends. And like 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 fifty of us total, but it's a group of friends where I've known them for over twenty years now. Um, the majority of them are Korean Americans, and uh, their their love and their care, and always bringing me into their homes and caring and loving and just being good friends and good people. And their their family sitting down with me, their mothers, their fathers sitting down with me, gave me so much hope. And that allowed me to be someone who's confident in who I am, you know, as well as my parents mm. making sure I went back and forth between um, here and Jamaica. But it is a very important, you know, and it's a big thing in the community. Um, I know it's a big uh, thing in Asian communities as well. So I appreciate you saying that. I appreciate you fighting against that cause. I know it's a hard thing. I know even for some of my friends, if it wasn't for me being there, maybe they wouldn't understand those things or see that that was a situation that occurs, right? but we were all able to open our eyes together and it's such a beautiful thing. So yes, thank you for that. We all need to come together. We need to understand that all these, all these people matter. It is a human issue and all of us need to care for each other and be there. And when we unify, we all grow. So shout out to you, Udon Ian. Uh, I love that. I, I love the vulnerability. I love you speaking about this and keeping it a buck, man, because that's what we need out here. We need that kind of love. Absolutely. So I appreciate you for that. Yeah, and I, yeah, I love, like, yeah, go ahead. No, oh, no, go ahead. No, I, was just gonna, I was just going to say, uh, Mr. Gentleman, I agree. It's important to be conscious of your own capacity for racist behavior, even if it's subtle. The first step to change is having the humility to, ch to recognize where you need to grow. Absolutely. All of us have racial biases. Easy. I also Free. have Free. racial biases. I had to come to change those right i had to look at myself and find empathy and understand and see myself from the, the vision the best that i can in other people's shoes and understand that i will never truly understand their plight and their struggle and love and support them in any way that i can and understand that they will know their circumstances right we all need to come together in that regard that's what needs to happen so absolutely look at yourself learn to be humble Right, we're we're not all perfect. And guess what? We live in a society that pushes us and socializes us to look at, at ourselves differently. Right? We we live in a society that builds like we have media that builds on these these racial stereotypes. Right? Time and time again, these little things that continue to build in us and allow us to have these biases, and then we start pushing these things, and it goes on and goes on and goes on. So the first thing we need to do is identify ourselves and see the crux of what those things are. And it is important for us to see that. Got to open up, man. It, I know it's it's not easy. It's never easy. That kind of growth is never easy. But it's worth it. All right? It's absolutely worth it. Now that that's facts. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like, like, people... People care so much about themselves and how they are perceived that to reach a point where they feel comfortable admitting that they have that kind of bias. Yeah. Be like, oh, I have racial bias. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's never, never something I want to come out of my mouth. They're like, oh man, I'm going to get like, whatever. I'm going to get canceled or whatever. It's just like, just being honest with yourself is like the, the first step to, to liberation. Like for real, like I feel like even myself, right? Like as a black man, I have biases toward my own community. You know, and that's, mm -hmm. like, that's the kind of thing where, you know, it's ingrained into you at, at a very young age. And oh, yeah, you find yourself fun. like it's, it's corrective thinking in the manner where like it can be very difficult to get yourself to a point where you instinctively think the way you want to. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's like it's like someone telling you uh, their preferred pronouns and you trying to, to correct and make that change, but still thinking the wrong pronoun first and then correcting it before you say it. Mm -hmm. A lot of what 
your improvement and your ability to change is is based off of a conscious effort to recognize that you can be wrong and that you are fucked up there is no person that is just like perfect out there who doesn't have these own kinds of like biases toward whether mm -hmm. it's race color gender ethnicity uh, like there's there's yep. so much to unpack and if you just kind of look at yourself like no i'm good i'm not racist i'm not sexist i'm like bro you are i'll say i'll make a distinction here uh, just to like make things easier because this is a thing that i see a lot where people are like 